A problem almost everyone faces when they start using Vim seriously is the fact that the escape key is very inconvenient to press and you have to press the escape key kind of a lot because you have to exit insert mode all the time, obviously. There's a few ways around this. There's one where people remap escape to like JJ or JK and that's okay. I personally don't love it because sometimes like there's a little input delay when you're typing a word with a J or a K in it and sometimes you can even accidentally trigger it for really weird words or really weird string sequences, but it does happen from time to time and it's quite annoying, so I choose not to do that one. The next method is using another key and remapping it on your operating system to send escape. Most people do caps lock, and that's what I did for a long time. It also has the huge, huge benefit of being able to be used like all over the operating system. It's very easy to escape out of stuff, and escape is a pretty common thing you want to hit anyway, so it's an excellent remap. This is, of course, assuming you're using like a laptop keyboard or a standard Logitech keyboard or not anything like a Kinesis or Moonlander or Ferris Sweep, which are, of course, like just much more optimal and solve this problem, but you know, not everything can be totally optimal. There's still tons of super unoptimal things that are wildly popular, like Microsoft Windows or New Hampshire. I recently, though, discovered that there's a much better remap than just using caps lock as escape, and that is control plus open bracket. You might have encountered this before as an escape option in Vim, and like me, kind of thought, like, that's that's weird. That's probably just one of those old Unix things, and, like, no one would actually do that, right? Because if you think about it, typing control and then open bracket is super, super inconvenient. Like, even if you're staying in the home row and your pinkies are both pressing the buttons, it's like pinky all the way down to control, pinky all the way up to left angle bracket. That's just so strange. You have to do one crucial remap, and then it becomes overpowered. If your caps lock is left control instead of escape, it changes literally everything. At first it's very weird to get used to because now you're having to press two keys with your pinkies, caps lock and left bracket, but it's not that bad. You get used to it quite quickly. And it has the massive, massive advantage of now control, your modifier, is right there next to everything. And in Vim this is huge. It makes it so much easier to do like hard to reach things that you previously were kind of like straining for. So the biggest ones are like the insert mode commands. For instance, you can now insert from registers very easily with control R, which is a little bit of a pain to do before. And another huge one is the one shot normal mode command, control O. When you're in insert mode and you press that, it gives you one chance to move things. And before for me, like I knew about this and I would use it very occasionally, but it it's not very ergonomic at all because you have to kind of like move off the home row. For me, I had to like find control with my thumb, like look down for it and then, yeah, hit O and then come back and it's like, I might as well just hit escape, which I can do without looking at the keyboard and then do my thing and then go back into insert mode. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. But now with this remap, super easy. And just all the other, the, the incrementing and decrementing, scrolling and stuff, not to mention the stuff on the command line, control next, previous, delete a word with control W, U to clear a line or L to clear the screen. There's just so many things that use control in Unix and having it like directly basically on your home row with access through your pinky is just so incredibly overpowered. It does, it's quite jarring at first, honestly, to lose one, one key dedicated to escaping in Vim, but it's so worth it. Like I, I tried this, it was so bad for me to lose that one escape key. So I stopped and I went back to my old way, but like, the the ergonomics of having control right there just like called to me they were whispering my name like every keystroke and i just felt like the incredible loss and the incredible like drain of ergonomic efficiency just seeping off of me and i i couldn't help it i was sucked back into that world and now like it's been a couple of weeks and i'm totally dedicated to this lifestyle so i think it's a totally worth it remap there are a couple things to note though if you don't have escape on caps lock right there, it is kind of annoying at an operating system level to escape out of things. So I just use like whatever remap software you use. For me, it's Carabiner Elements, but there's totally Linux stuff for that too. And just remap at the operating system level, control and bracket to escape. And that way, like you can just use kind of the Vim style escape on everything. And yeah. It's just super nice. Huge, huge ergonomic benefits. 
and I was doubtful about it at first, but I think that's the one true solution. But, you know, everyone has wildly differing opinions when it comes to this stuff, so feel free to disagree. Maybe you can even point out some insane things I've missed during it, but when I first encountered this idea, I was just, like, blown away by it. At least, this is for laptop keyboards. Again, like, basically doesn't matter for a, a non-standard layout, but, you know. All right, I'll catch you next time.